Hey, you there. Yes, you. Would you like to be a chemist someday? Well, first, you've got to look like one. Wow, that is a pretty spectacular reaction. But you know, being a chemist isn't all about spectacular reactions. That's right. You have to be able to analyze chemical reactions. Take precise measurements. Record data. Compare different substances. And prepare standard solutions. Do you not know how to prepare a standard solution? Oh my my. Hey, that's a great question. And whether you want to be a more successful chemist or just a more successful chemistry student, you have to know how to be able to prepare a standard solution. That is, a solution of known concentration. And there's two ways that we can go about preparing this standard solution. One is from a solid, that is we can take a known solute and dissolve it in a certain amount of solvent, in most cases water, to prepare our standard solution. Or we can take a solution of known concentration and add more solvent to it to create a less concentrated solution. And this is a process that we refer to as a dilution. And we're going to take a look at both methods of preparing a standard solution. So let's first take a look at how we would prepare a standard solution from a solid. We'd first need to know what solution we're preparing so that we would know the solid that we were going to use or the solute that we were going to use. We'd have to have an understanding of the solvent that we're using and in most cases that's going to be water. We would have to know the volume of solution that we're preparing as well as its concentration. Now since we know the concentration C and the volume V of the solution that we're preparing, we can use the relationship N equals C times V to figure out the number of moles of solute that we're going to have to dissolve. We could then take the number of moles of solute and using the formula of that solute figure out its molar mass to establish the mass of the solute that we would have to dissolve in our solvent to create our solution of particular concentration. But it's not as easy as just taking that solid and putting it into the volume of solvent that we want for our solution. You see, just like when you step into the bathtub and the water level rises, the same sort of thing happens if we were just to take the solid and put it into the volume of water that we want for the volume of our solution. So what we use is a specialized piece of equipment called a volumetric flask. And this volumetric flask has only one graduation. So in the example that you see here, the one graduation is 500 milliliters. So this volumetric flask would be used whenever an individual is trying to prepare half a liter of a standard solution. So the way that it works is that we take our solid, we dissolve it in a bit of water, and then we put that into our volumetric flask, and then put in deionized water, distilled water, up unto the point, that graduation, that represents the 500 milliliters of solution. And in that way, we're assured that it is 500 milliliters of solution and not 500 milliliters of solvent. So while we can prepare a standard solution from a solid, we can also prepare a standard solution from an existing solution of known concentration by adding more solvent through a process that we refer to as dilution. Now the key thing in dilution is understanding that all we're doing is adding more solvent. That is, we're increasing the volume of our solution. The amount of the solute doesn't actually change in this process. All that changes is the volume. The volume increases and therefore the concentration decreases. So there's a relationship that we have to know that takes these two factors into account. And we refer to this as the dilution equation, that is C1V1 equals C2V2. And really what this refers to is that the initial concentration times the initial volume is equal to the final concentration times the final volume. And this is because the number of moles of solute doesn't change in a dilution. Let's take a look at an example. So let's say we started with one liter of a solution that contained three moles of a particular substance. If we were to increase the volume, that is, we were to dilute this particular solution to six liters, we could see that obviously what's happened is that we have increased the volume of this solution quite dramatically, but the number of moles of solute hasn't changed. 
What has changed though as a result of this increase in solvent is that the concentration has changed to 0.5 moles per liter. But if we take a look at C times V for both of these relationships, we'll see that the number of moles of solute remains at 3 moles. So a key understanding here is that when we dilute something, the amount of solute does not change. So please take a minute to make sure that you understand this dilution equation, C1V1 equals C2V2, because it is a new relationship, a new equation that you're going to have to know. So after watching this video, you should have a better understanding of what a standard solution is, of the different methods that we can use to prepare a standard solution, that is one being from a solid and one being from a solution of known concentration, that is a dilution, as well as the quantitative or calculations that you have to make in order to prepare these solutions. Now I didn't go into great detail as to how to use a volumetric flask or how to perform a dilution, but I have included a couple of links here to videos that I found that might help you out a bit. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Did you not like the video? Was there something that seemed like it was a little off? Well, either way, we want to hear about it. So like us or leave a comment in the section below as to things that we could change or improve. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube or follow us on Twitter.